Hello everybody, this is Norvrock giving you another little guide here in OpenTTD. In this episode we are still on the map with the other trains that we built earlier, but we're going to be building a little bus route. As you can see here, road construction. I'm pressing this little key here for getting all this up. So, what is buses? Yeah, well, it's those small ones in this game, mainly blue. Uh, no, not blue, uh, yellow. Um, but what I want to do is I want to connect these three cities um, with a bus route going from this to this to this and to this. But the roads are not connected, so first I want to connect the road. And again, like we did in trains, this goes one way and one direction. And this goes one direction, and now you got the omnidirectional. So I'm unpausing, and since we want to build in these three towns, we need to have them connected. And what better way to do it than uh, do it where there's already road? So as you see now, these three cities are already connected. There's a road between them, and I'm actually going to build the road depot right away here in the middle because well that's pretty easy for the tra uh, buses to go and en route to one another place they'll all have to go past here anyway so that was just a quick little glance but then we take this bus station um, and I'm gonna use this one in this city here and I'm gonna place it right in here and we've got a station there, and I think we can build a station. Nope, that's occupied already, but we can actually build one. Nope, there's a building there as well. Um, most likely, if, oh, if I take the uh, where it is, uh, transparency option, take this off, it's, yeah, there are trees. A park of some sort so that's why but now we can actually see where um, you can build one there <coughs> sorry about that and I'm gonna do a little bit different down here I'm gonna build a uh, go through station you can see these have on both sides of the, stri uh, of the street so that's why I uh, that's the other kind of station you can build. You can build these four in one every direction, and you can build one on the road. That way, you can build them in the middle of the town. We'll be using those more when we go into lorries. But that's actually quite simple because we've got the road connecting everything now, and I was just building the buses. And we'll take the Regal bus and buy the Eagle, and just like we did with the train pressing the arrow and go to and we go here pressing the full load and I can actually send this off right away because it'll take some time for it to build up and we can go here to a full cargo and we can make it go here again full cargo I could of course also have made it go there, here, there, here, there, but uh, depending on what you want. That's just one bus and we will be filling up here. But when you're building buses, you need a lot. And again, the control key while doing the clone and it will get the same vehicle with the same orders that are cloned, so if I change it one they will be uh, changed on all of them. And I'll press this little button down here. It sends out all the vehicles. This will make a um, small uh, queue down here for this station. But that's okay in the beginning here. But they will even out fairly easy. There is one thing. As you can see here, that's not a lot of uh, buses you can have on this one. So what I can do to expand this is I can take this one. I'd say, okay, this is uh, looking to be fairly quickly built up. 
So I'm pressing it here and I'm pressing the control key and I can make this into the new Chatham. And there we go, we have two bus stations for this particular uh, station. I could also have chosen one of these and built it out here and say new Chatham. Okay, so that's, see this now has three stations actually connected, all the buses, and you can actually do that with the lorries as well, or if you wanted to connect with one of your train stations uh, uh, delivering passengers, you can do this as a feeder route for your trains, from the, uh, tra yeah, feeding if you want to transport uh, passengers by train. But you see now we have a good amount of uh, buses already going and the rating is excellent. I haven't got into what the rating is. I will do that at a later point, but that's good. As you can see, 80% and it's, it's called excellent. So this is actually the basics of building a um, bus route. Pressing the delete key here just to clear the screen. But technically you can see this well, I'm not sure that's enough buses, so as you can see it's pretty expensive getting a lot of buses out here and if we take a look at this one, the running cost is 500 a year and if I take one of the trains, the running cost is 2000 a year, so um, vice versa, that's why I want you to uh, start by building trains in the beginning. You can easily use uh, buses at a later point, especially since it's been um, there's come where they will uh, automatically renew. We'll, then we'll take that at a later point. When the, the trains or buses gets old, it is a uh, it was a hurdle in the old where you had to manually change all the buses, so all the road vehicles. Uh, because, as you can see, you need quite plenty full of uh, buses going around. As you see, I already now need to put in quite a few extra. Just to have these three stations uh, supplied. As you can see now, I'm actually not in need of a bigger route. I could... Well, this one I would probably yeah I think oh, it would be a little bit better to build one here or I will build it here connect it to this one these two will be almost equal distance but being that this is a uh, on the road here it can only believe it only has one road vehicle um, parking space on this side and one on the other side. I'm not using these road vehicles that much, I must say. But this is the basic of building a train route, uh, a bus route. So um, this is also, on a side note, a good way to increase your city. But again, I'll make a guide on that later, how you want to increase the uh, size of the city. But hope this was helpful. See you guys later.